He was there for cannon fodder, and he didn't do anything. He didn't even become the cannon fodder. Hey, we got an achievement. Nice. This kind of opportunity comes along once in a lifetime. His pants are so high up. I have to grasp it. You have to. Well, we have to put ours like that. Really? The Japs love to shoot. Yeah. Above the belly button. I put it below my tummy because it's easier. My future. Thinking of taking on a company of the Emperor's finest single-handed? You don't seem the Sergeant York type to me. When I need your opinion, Kelso, I'll ask for it. They talk about officers like you in boot camp, Cole. They call it the Custer Syndrome. Guys who go around dreaming of fame and glory and getting all of their men killed in the process. Our duty is to lead, Kelso. And their duty is to die for your wonderful future? That's some tea. Is Custer Syndrome real? Did they ever warn you about that? You look it up. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> what are you chewing on? Oh my god! Phelps and Jack Kelso. With some people. Sponsor me, Halls. Chemistry. Two guys who should have been friends, but their personalities got in the way. Phelps, a good guy, wound way too tight, and Kelso, a quiet man who could never walk away from a fight. Well, it's a shame you don't like to talk about it, Cole. Ralph, friends who want to stay friends don't discuss religion or politics. Oh. In my case, you can add. They the never talked about it with us, but. I know that. Bob. This is what it is. Window victory Bowles. disease occurs in military history when complacency ball. or arrogance brought on by a victory or series him, of victories him off in makes the an car. engagement. Ex uh, yeah, makes no. an engagement. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. What? Go sideways. <laughs> I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Yeah, no, I don't got it! What am I doing? Do you, do you need help? Why am I so late? Why are you zigzagging? <laughs> You're on a snake, man. Let me play. Let me play. I got it, I got it, I got it. No, I'm playing. I got it, I got it, I got it. I got it. It's me. It's me. I'm that guy. I'm that guy. <laughs> Stay the hell away from me. He could easily like poop on. Ah. <laughs> Why must you kick me, fella? He could poop on him right now. <laughs> I feel like that's something right that he would do. <laughs> that's a defensive. <laughs> it's over, Bowers. You oh, I thought you were saying Bowser. <laughs> over Bowser. Over Bowser. <laughs> <laughs> Fight him. I hate how upright he's running. <laughs> We've got the place to ourselves. Yeah, yeah. Grab attack, grab attack, grab attack. Headbutt. Oh! Oh. Grab attack, grab attack. Yeah, let me kiss you, hold on. Let me kiss you on your hot mouth. <laughs> you hit his head in the pole. What you doing, Wendell? You parole off. How do you get down there? Feeling lonely. He threw him He's off. got a hole in his life for an asshole like you. You can make it up to him in ten years' time. A hole in a hole? Watch your head. A hole for this an asshole? This will be back in the Iron Hotel by tomorrow night. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Nice work, Cole. I would hope your asshole you was a hole. <laughs> or else it wouldn't be an asshole, it would be an ass. Saying. He said that the, uh, the other officer has a hole for an asshole like him, so it's like a hole Part of the tradition of the asshole. Marine Corps and being an officer in the Marine Never Corps mean. is the ability to make tough decisions. The right decision is not the popular one. What is wrong right with him? The right decision the will get the men you care about killed. That's gross. These ratings, he must be sweating. Your ability to give them butt frankly off, man. and truthfully directly affect your chances of success. It's like an extra 30 Marine degrees officer. in that freaking coat. Candidate Phelps, you have the floor. I wish I was kidding. Esprit de corps. Merrill, 10. Franklin, 8. Weiss, 8. Donahoe, 6. Kowalski, 6. Hudson, 5. Kelso, 2. Leadership. Donahoe, eight. Franklin, oh, seven. Like scores? Merrill, six. Yeah. Kowalski, six. Weiss, five. Hudson, five. Kelso, one. Candidate Kelso! I'm sorry, Captain, but I joined the Marine Corps to fight the enemy, not get involved in this schoolboy chicken shit. Kelso, in my office, now! Why is neck, like, three different sizes? Because <laughs> it's a memory. Look at that. Here the memory. His neck was like moving like, uh, 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 uh. For every cop, there's the case that makes you. Gives you that leg up. Gets you recognized as the shining new star in the squad. 
The case that you solve that shows that you have the gumption, the gung ho, the get the up gumption? and go to make you stand out the for the average rank and file patrolman. This could be the one goal. The only gung ho I know is the perk from Black Ops 2 that makes you run and shoot at the same time. He LAPD. did. Could you stand clear of the body, please? Has anyone called an ambulance? We've called an ambulance and the police, but I'm afraid he's dead. Is there Robbie Malik? <laughs> okay, stand further back and move along. It's your choice, but make it. Quick. No, 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 sorry. Uh, what's his name? Hey, Cole. He was with Kim. You got here quick. My beat crossed. Oh, what's his name? Okay. Your first Something reporting. Peterson. We'll get a perimeter going and move the crowd on. You know what I'm talking about? Better see what you can find out before the homicide dicks show up. Are you talking about like I'll Ariana Grande's ex-boyfriend? So what's going on? What are you doing? Stepping over bodies? Stop! I got this. I got this. Let me do it. I'm... Let me see it again. Let me see it again. I want to see it again. <laughs> Odd daylight. Crowded street. I've seen everything. Man, this guy's a. Little... He's got like ketchup all over him. He's got like sharpie marker. Why? <laughs> wax on, wax off. I'm <laughs> just gonna make sure he's. <laughs> <laughs> I think this man's been shot. <laughs> <laughs> Is it potential? Oh. Galeta. Fifty-two dollars for earrings. Nineteen forty-seven. Wait a minute. Hey Siri, how much is fifty-two dollars and fifty cents in nineteen forty-seven compared to now? He did a lot of payments. Galetta. He did a two-dollar fifty-cent payment. Thirteen hundred seventy-five dollars. Arcadia. He did a 250 payment. That's a lot. I touch your face. Give me kiss. <laughs> Please. Let me bite your neck. That blood looks succulent. Is that everything? No. Did you hear how much those earrings were? 1300 dollars. And today money, yeah. Okay. Why, is he, why are you just caressing his I hand? I don't know, okay? Right, He's very right. handsome. Yes, it's a dead person. I don't know what I'm doing. You're, you're caressing his hands. What can I do with his face? It'll allow like me to the touch body. No. That is an Exiting ear. Fish. Look how disgusting that ear is. It's just you a see hole. How, like low poly it is. Yeah. Okay. They're using like Wallace and Gromit textures. All right. I think that's everything. There was nothing in there. Stop it! I didn't click that. Check the chest. Up, 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 up. I already looked at that. Okay. Up chest. Uh, hand fetish, Gabby. Okay, I can't. I can't look at the upper packet. If there is one. Excuse me, sir. Is there anything around him? Oh, I know where the gun is. I'm not cheating. I swear. Oh, there we go. F N Browning. Fabrio or Fabrique. I need to run a bike gun store. Wait. Eagleson's gun store is a couple blocks from Oh, that's, uh, that's French. So, can I go in here? I mean, what's the point of... Nunbush? Is that the freaking store name? Nunbush? Nunbush. Probably a name. Uh, can, I, can I help you, sir? Can no. I help you, sir? Just start looking around. <laughs> I'm here to commandeer some shoes for mine. running purposes. Thank you why for he, the book. Why didn't he grab it by the spine? Don't shirt. know. Did you know the victim? It was my boss, <laughs> Mr. Gage. It's actually not. This is actually not that bad. Like the crying animation. I know that bad. it wasn't. It was just her face that she made. It just. Made. You think you could tell me exactly what happened, Miss? I look around the shops at lunch. I was in a store when Mr. Gage, my boss, bursts in yelling that I'm late on my lunch. It's the face animations are actually She's really good creepy. in this game. I was angry. Yeah, what, how realistic it is? I walked in front. Yeah, it's looking a little creepy. I heard shots. Disney could never. I turned and saw Mr. Gage fall. <laughs> her hair looks low poly as ever, though. Oh, she's lying. That's her, like, la di da I'm telling the truth, and now I'm no longer crying. You're a liar. You're lying, Miss Coletta. You know what happened and why. You're going to tell me. There's nothing to tell. I've done nothing wrong. How can you prove different? <laughs> Why'd her neck like shrivel in like five places? Oh, Layway Voucher. Your pearl earrings, Miss Coletta. 
You've been paying for them for a whole year. Stop lying and tell me what happened at the jewelry store. Oh, God. I won't lose the earrings, will I? You could lose your freedom, you little fool, if you don't stop <laughs> obstructing a murder investigation. <laughs> Mr. Kalu. Edgar Kalu. He runs the jewelry store. He's showing me a lovely you watch. You the radio in the background? <laughs> Mr. Gage bursts in. Mr. Kalu gets very so angry snoring. with Mr. Gage, and they start <laughs> yelling at each other. Mr. Gage tells me that all of the things in the store are junk, nickel-plated, made in Japan, and yells at me to get back to work. Then what happened? We get back here, and I hear a loud bang. Mr. Gage clutches at his back. I hear another bang, and another, and another. Mr. Gage falls to his knees. It looked very painful. Okay. Which jewelry store? Hartfields. Broadway, between 5th and 6th. Did you see the person who shot Mr. Gage? Of course I did. Mr. Callow looked very angry. He kept firing the gun. He kept pulling the trigger. He threw the gun in a bin and turned and walked away. So that's her doubt look. It's just like she's still like looking and thinking and pondering, yeah. I guess. You're making me angry, Miss Galetta. Is that what you want? Tell me why Mr. Kalu shot Mr. Gage. Mr. Gage hates Jews. A lot of people do. It's not my fault if he has nice things. Listen, the Holocaust just happened. And you're sitting there wow. and still saying people hate Jews, right? There's I'll a lot of anti-Semitism here, Miss Galetta. It's difficult to remember. It sounded like there were so many, and they were so loud. So that's her truth face? Her truth face looks like her doubt face. No, she's crying. This is gonna be so hard. I can't tell- I can't read faces for crap. I need you to concentrate, Miss Galetta. Even <sighs> minor details can become important later on. Well, there was one bang, and then another, and then three very quickly close together. Five. That is quick math. Thank you for your help, ma'am. You've been very brave. <laughs> Two plus three we'll need you to make a formal five. statement about what happened, Mr. Cage. Does that mean I can still collect my... my... Never mind. Yes, officer, I'll make a statement. Get Two right! Plus Two plus four is six, minus one, that's five quick maths. And there's nothing. Oh. We have the murder weapon. And the murderer. The girl saw it all. Our killer works at a jewelry store called Hartfields. That's a couple of blocks from here. Thinking what I'm thinking? Tate, maintain the perimeter. All right, it's all you. Where are we? Where, you're driving. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. It did a did a It did a bum bum. Oh, right there, right there, right there. Did you see it? Click. Yeah, five. Shell casings. These look like 32s. So you can go to two places. You can go to the gun store to to deal with the gun, or you can go to Hartfield to go straight to the suspect to the suspect. Oh my gosh, you can see him in the car. <laughs> Just <laughs> You're gonna kill someone. Oh, didn't come from that side. Thanks, game. Quality meets best, best in, in town. best in Torv. Orvin. If he runs, I I, I should. New watch. Can I interest you in a cap in your butt talks, sir? Officer Cole Feltz, are you Edgar Kalu? Uh, no. Uh, Mr. Kalu is out back. He said he'd lie down. I'll buzz him for you. Corey, go. Corey, go. He's a runner. That's him. Son of a bitch. Go, Cole. Go. Go. Hurry, officer. <laughs> Hey, officer! <laughs> I hate how they run, man. Hello, you can shoot him! Here. Oh, gosh. I hit him in the leg, but it didn't work. I don't think this game is that smart, Corey. I think you just gotta... What?! Oh, maybe you're supposed to scare him. Like, shoot near him. Like... Like, I'm ready. 
like trip him up. Like yeah, I'd be like, I got, like, I got, got you. The leg. Kind of yeah yeah belts. yeah. Man's is tough. Don't shoot an innocent. Here. Oh. What? So you, you have to serious? aim at them to get to let them know that like I got a shot on you, bro. You're under arrest for the murder of Everett Gage. <laughs> we did it. Smile. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah, we did it. We're the best officers. The case that at your guts and ruins your marriage. The case that keeps you propping up a bar. I know some officers like laughed at laugh after an arrest. Half leads. But not just like a stand there and be like The case that other cops murmur about whenever you walk past. The case you never like a ninety sitcom. Yeah. <laughs> God's mill may grind slowly, but it grinds finely, son. I hear it's you who nabbed our malefactor from the shooting yesterday. Yes, sir. Then tell me, Boyle. I hear you're quite the climber, a man of initiative. How would you it's like the guy. Shut up. <laughs> you're, not you're asking me to, to conduct the interview, sir? I am, young Phelps. You've only been with us a short time, and you've assembled yourself a stellar arrest record. Not to mention the fine work you did in the war, sending heathens back to the hell they came from. But I'm curious as to whether you can turn your hand to interrogation. It takes a certain animal cunning, lad. Do you think you might be ready for that? Yes, sir. I think I am. Good man. You need many things for a conviction, young Phelps. A motive, opportunity, hard evidence, and best of all, a confession. If you fail in the former, you can always use a modicum of violence to obtain the latter. I forgot it's the 40s. They allow How violence. Are you that? Fine, sir. Very good. The evidence is overwhelming. May the cat eat him and the cat be eaten by the devil. Bring me a confession, young Phelps. What does that even mean? This is your what? chance. Don't you might as well just me. have the devil eat him. Right? May the cat eat him. <laughs> May the cat eat him. The cat be eaten by the devil. And the cat gets eaten by Why is the cat involved? Has my lawyer arrived yet? I want to see my lawyer. A lawyer can't help you, Mr. Kalu. You shot a man dead in cold blood. You're going to have to pay for that. Oh, you oh, oh you're Everett taking Gage lead. Okay. The girl you know back okay. The shoe store. I trust you. You put five rounds in Gage's back. Gage was a, was a bastard. Wow. Whatever he got, he got what was coming. But it had nothing to do with me. You need to judge whether or not he's telling the truth. Careful use of intuition can lead to breakthroughs. I think he's... That looks like a, that looks like that a look, doubt. That looks like a doubt. Doubt? Doubt? I, I'm agreeing with you. I'd say doubt. So you shot this Wrong. guy over the sale of a watch. You think Jewish people are going to continue to take it lying down? Straight in orderly lines to the ovens? Not this heap. I say enough is enough. <laughs> Not no this more. heap. <laughs> I've just got to keep my mouth shut and watch you run around in circles. We're done. Unless you want to keep making a schmuck of yourself. You know what? Restart. Wait, I want to restart. Because literally, Wait. literally, the, we could say that he was lying because there was a key witness who said it was him. He's lying. We just fade on away. And then he like, Ugh. He looks away. He's like, who did I, did I, did I do that? Did I recover that? Did I, did I, did I? You shot Gage and we know why. We can put you at the scene. You can't prove anything. Uh, uh suspect, suspect positively identified. How do you go down? Uh, down arrow. Oh. Or, or A and D. Possible religious motive. No, 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 no. <laughs> we know all about the argument. Let's go let him make a statement. You're you're counting on the girl. You think her testimony is going to stand up in court? Yes. You're going to the gas chamber. <gasps> you hating fuck couldn't leave me alone. I had a sale. That girl was ready to buy. Ooh. Let's change the subject. You're going the to the gas chamber. He <laughs> said that. Yeah, let's change yes. the subject. You're going, motherfucker. How about baseball? You're not denying you're a Jew, Mr. Kalu. This is America. It's not Germany. It's not a crime. Some people don't like Jews, Mr. Kalu. Yeah, and I guess you're one of them. Gage hated Jews, didn't he, Mr. Kalu? I don't know what you're talking about. What? I think he's like pissed. No. He did, he did, he does hate Jews. View the notebook. Let's look at the evidence. We're not on the timer. Uh, tab. Is that tab? Yeah. Possible religious motive. 
So is that a lie then? Or is it a doubt? I think it's a doubt. Didn't I ask for a lawyer? Hey. Shouldn't you be on the phone, officer? Oh, yeah. yes. Yes. Left wing leaning parasite. You expect me to sit here and listen to your drivel? You call me that? You sit there and you call me those names, you goddamn goy butt snatcher. Wow. You and that stump gauge. Why did you do it, Mr. Kalu? Gage. He's in the Chamber of Commerce. He's in with all those momsers. He blocked every proposal I ever put forward. Kike this and kike that. He's been trying to ruin my business for years. Edgar Kalu, I'm charging you with the first degree Let's murder go! of Edgar Gage. I respect your beliefs and your right to hold them. I hope for your sake the jury can commute to murder in the second degree. May God have mercy on you, sir. And they just let him loose like that? No cuffs, no... This is back in the Master day, they, would, they wouldn't done, bat an eye if someone got shot in there. It is just Officer Phelps. Isn't it, lad? Yes, sir. Then let me have a word with the Chief of Police, young Phelps. The department needs heroes. A shining, honest face the public can admire. I applaud a man with your talent for unwavering justice. Back to your duties for now, Boyle. But here's a piece of advice. Why don't you call Boyle? Get yourself two suits, get them pressed. You'll be needing them. Suits? We're gonna look pretty? Yeah, suits. Yeah, I was about to say, I'm like, gonna be dolled up. Complete all cases what? on the patrol desk. That was us on patrol. Come on, patrol. Yay!